In this video, we are going to learn how you can save form responses to database. So the idea here is that you have created a form using your Google Forms account. Now you want that whenever the form is filled, automatically using the details of the form submission, a new data should be inserted into your database management software application that is MySQL. For that, you need to integrate Google Forms with MySQL database table. So here your trigger application would be Google Forms and your action application would be MySQL. So in this particular automation, we are using Google Forms to create the forms. In place of Google Forms, you can also use JotForm, Typeform or any other form building software application. So how you can create an automation, for that you need to come to my screen. To save form submission details to your database, first we need to log into PABBLY, pably.com. This is the website of Pabli. Here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to just click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you're going to get free tasks every month. If you're already a user of Pabli Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Save form submission details to database. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever the form is submitted, automatically all the form submission details should be added to your database. For that, first we need to integrate form builder account with Pabli Connect. So simply open this trigger window and here as I have created a form using my Google Forms account, I'm just choosing the application name as Google Forms. So here you can just integrate any form building software application to capture the form submission details. Okay. Now here we have to select the trigger event as new response received. And here we can see a webhook URL and some instructions. So let us read the instructions. Google form responses are collected in Google Sheets. So follow the below steps in order to get the new response. Go to the form on which you want to take the submission and make the last question as required for the trigger. So I'll just take you to the form which I have already created named candidate status form where I'm collecting the details of the candidate that is his name, his email address and the phone number. And here I have also taken the status of the candidate that is a new candidate, interviewed, offered, disqualified or hired candidate. So we have to make this last question as required for the trigger. Okay, so I would request you to make the last question mandatory over here. Okay, now let's move to the responses tab. And here you can see I don't have any responses, zero responses. So first I'm going to capture the response by filling the form. So let's click on this I button. And here let us fill up the form on the name of a candidate. So let's give the candidate name as demo candidate. His email address as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. And here I'm just going to enter the phone number and the status as new candidate. And now let's click on submit. So here we can see that the form is filled. Now let's move back to the Google form. And here we can see one response is received over here. Now as the Google form responses are captured in Google Sheets, we are going to integrate Google Sheet over here. For that, click on this three dots and click on select response destination. Now here it is asking to create a new spreadsheet or you want to select the existing spreadsheet. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and the spreadsheet name would be candidate status form responses. If you want to change the name, you can just change it over here. Okay, and now let's click on create. Linking to spreadsheet. Spreadsheet is linked. Okay, now we have to just access the spreadsheet by clicking on this green sign view responses in sheets. Okay, and here we can see that the response is captured over here in our Google Sheet. So now we are going to integrate this Google Sheet with Pabli Connect so that all the response details are captured over here. Okay, for that we have to just copy this webhook URL from here. We have to move back to the Google Sheet, click on extensions, click on add-ons and click on get add-ons. Now it will take us to Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. Now you have to install Pabli Connect webhooks on your system. As you can see that it is already installed, I'm just going to close this window. But remember, after installing Pabli Connect webhooks on your system, you have to refresh your Google Sheet. After refreshing, again come to extensions and this time we have to click on Pabli Connect webhooks and click on initial setup. 
and here it is asking for the webhook url and the trigger column so here we'll be pasting the webhook url that we have copied from public connect and now the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url so here you can see that i have the data from column a till column e and i want the data to be captured till column e so i'll be giving the trigger column as column e over here say if you have the data till column h and you want the data to be captured till column h then you have to give the trigger column as column h over here okay now let's click on send test test data sent successfully okay and now let's click on submit setup configured successfully let's close this window again we have to come to extensions public connect webhooks and we have to just click on send on event so why we are selecting this option just because next time whenever the form will be filled and the details will be captured in this particular google sheet automatically public connect will capture the form submission details we don't have to link the details again and again so simply make sure you have a tick mark on the send on event option over here okay now let's move back to public connect and here we can see that the same response is received okay and here we can find all the form submission details we can find the status as new spreadsheet name sheet id okay here we have got the sheet name and here we have got the customer details also that is the row index phone number of the customer his name and the email address so now we want to add this form submission details to our database application so now i'll be integrating my sql with public connect so come to this action window and here choose the application name as my sql select the action event as insert row click on connect click on add new connection and now here it is asking for the database username database password host database name and the port so here you have to enter your database username and database password and here for the host the instruction is mentioned enter your mysql host name example is also given and ensure it is accessible from this ip address note local host and 127.0.01 are not valid so here you have to enter your host for that i'll just take you to my mysql database table and here you can see that the server local host is mentioned over here so here you can find your host so you have to simply copy it and you have to just paste in public connect and here itself you can find the database name and the port so you have to also copy that and you have to just paste it over here in the database and the port once you have entered all these details simply click on save to create a connection as i have already created a connection i'll just choose this option that is select existing connection and i'll click on save and now mysql database account is connected to public connect now as we have created a connection between mysql database and public connect here we can find all the tables that i have created in my database okay so now i'll just take you to the table which i have already created named candidate details where i have already created some fields for the candidate name his email address phone number and the status so now i want all the details to be added to this particular table so we are going to select the same table name from the drop down that is candidate details now here we have to give the candidate id so i don't want to mention any candidate id it will be automatically captured so i'm just going to leave this field to ignore it okay now here it is asking for the name email address and other details of the candidate which needs to be added in these columns so we have already got all these details from our form submission over here so now we are going to map all these details for mapping simply scroll down click it over here come to the google form responses and from the drop down let us map the candidate name in the same way we'll be mapping the email address here we'll be mapping the phone number and here we'll be mapping the status that was new so why we have mapped all these details over here instead of copy and pasting also so we have mapped just because next time whenever the form will be filled automatically the new form submission details will be captured over here in public connect and the new form submission details will be added to your database okay that is the reason we have to map the fields over here and now let's click on save and send test request and here we can see the response is received and in the response we have got the status as success data inserted id as 22 it means the data is added to your database table let's check it we have to just refresh our mysql database table and here we can see that the candidate id is added as 22 candidate name as demo name his email address his phone number and the status as new is added over here successfully and in this way our integration is working fine let's move back to public connect and let us save this workflow first data save successfully okay now we have set up an automation this is a one time process next time whenever the form will be filled automatically the form submission details will be added to your database table 
So now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll just move to the Google form once again. And here we are just going to open the form in a new tab so that we can fill in the details. And here I'm just going to enter the new candidate details. So here I have entered the details, name of the candidate as dummy candidate, his email address, his phone number and the status as offered this time. And now let's click on submit. So here we can see the form is filled. Now let us check our database table. We have to again refresh it. Okay, and here we can see the candidate ID is 23, candidate name as dummy candidate, his email address as dummy at publicdudes.com. Here we can find his phone number as well as the status as offered. So in this way, we can see that the new candidate details or the new form submission details are added to your database table successfully. And in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect. And now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Google Forms and Public Connect so that whenever the form is filled automatically the details are captured in Public Connect and then we have added all the form submission details to our SQL database table. And in this way we have learned that how we can save form submission details to our database using Public Connect. Thank you. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.